Hello everybody and welcome back to the European Championships 2017. Um, we are here in round two after kind of a disappointing end for our current reigning European champion. Yeah. Where he end, it fortunately ended in a draw for him, really starting his day off almost at a loss. Yeah, it's kind of well, it's frustrating a draw because you you really want to win the first one. It always feels like a... Sam here, especially knowing he could win that match. Yeah, exactly. If, he, if yeah. you gave him enough time, I think he was confident enough to take it. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, both players will be in that mindset. I think they'll both be thinking, "Oh, I could have won that. I could have won that third game, especially with it being one-one." Like, yeah, ab it's, absolutely. It's the first time I've, ne I've ever seen Samir not smiling. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it was it was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> it really was. Sorry, why am I <laughs> laughing at that? That makes me an awful person. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, I don't, I'm not naturally that nasty. I think our players are starting, so we better get on over to the table. Yeah, let's shoot there. A uh, really interesting matchup we got for you guys. We have a um, Michael. Uh, Pantelias, he is playing Yangzing Dino, or Dino Yangzing, and then we have our Hungarian national champion, and I'm apologize if I say your name incorrectly here, which is uh, Bartha Balas, uh, who is playing Shino Birds. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hungarian national champion is playing Shino Birds, that really weird ritual arc type that you probably looked at and went, all right, I'm going to put that in the box and look at the rest of my cards in the packs. Yeah. Um, so our players actually look ready. Um, uh, they're it's looking at the hands now, so I think we should go over to the table and start. Okay, we've okay, they've just started. Yeah, we've got a little bit of technical... All right, no, hold on. I've got things appearing the on my app, app now. The app to now be working. Uh, Michael opening Dragonic Diagram, Soul Eating Over Raptor, Ultimate Conductor Tran uh, Tyranno, and Nine Pillars of the Yang Zing. Electing to start with the Soul Eating Over Raptor to search the... Baby... Uh, baby Cerasaurus. Baby, baby Cerasaurus. Are you going to wow, struggle with this? Wow, that was awesome. Go I've ahead. never heard anyone say that. Baby Cerasaurus. Yeah. I've always just tried to avoid saying it because I didn't know how to say it. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Baby Cerasaurus. Well, there's a card that I can't say that he just said. Well, yeah, uh, it's, it's a Cerasaurus and it's a baby. It's Baby Cerasaurus. Nailed it. And the dinosaur deck, uh, winning the die roll and choosing to go first, an extremely powerful start. It's very possible with this due to the number of uh, effects that you can chain together to destroy your own cards to then bring back the Baby Cerasaurus, search for another card. Then you've got option to use your True King. Help me out, Luke. Uh, Lithosa Gym. Lithosa Gym. And I didn't. I've not even. I didn't even see the card. I just knew that was the one that Matt couldn't do. He so what, one I always it. always say wrong. Uh, Lithosa Gym and <laughs> Litho. Litho. Sa Gym. Sa Gym. Lithosa yeah. Gym. And that'll let him go through his opponent's extra deck. And this is where he's going to get really confused when he realizes his <laughs> opponent. Yeah. Actually, is he just he playing? actually playing it. It's literally just Yang Zing and Dinos is what Michael is currently playing. So his extra deck is Herald of the Art Light, Denlong, Naturia Beast, Bashia, Trishula. Yeah. So he's, he's looking through the Shino Bird uh, extra deck at the moment. Yeah, and he's, he's going to go see Fairy Chikorong, thinking, what on earth am I playing against? Oh, yes. Yeah. Lightning Chidori, is this a Harpy matchup? He's, he's going to just pick out three one-offs, because... No, Utopia is definitely going, because that, that's taking three cards out of his extra deck. Yeah, that's actually really brutal um, for his extra deck, but the Shino Birds have really powerful ritual effects. Uh, one of them... Uh, sweeps away monsters and then lets you summon, uh, ignore the summoning requirements and summon a uh, spirit from your hand. Yeah. The other one takes away your opponent's spells and traps and then lets you summon from your deck. Uh, to remember which is which, the Shino Bird Peacock is, takes away monsters and Shino Bird Baroness takes away the spells and traps. But it, I'm not sure how this deck is going to play through uh, the Dino's opening field. What I can tell you, though, is Barfa actually did open a Kaiju. So he is going to be able to take out, uh, depending on whether or not uh, Michael ends with a Notoria Beast or a Lagia, he's going to be able to take that out and then actually make some plays. Yeah, our judges. So one of our judges just happens to be up on the uh, Shino Birds, and apparently you don't actually need any of the cards that you just took away. You only need Abyss Dwellers and Emeralds. So that's pretty good. I'll just trust him on that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't say I've seen a whole lot of Shino Birds being played, but then again, I was uh, trying it out on Duel Links, um, where they have uh, some of the smaller Shino Birds in the continuous spell. Yeah. And of course, you're adding a Magician of Black Chaos, which f it feels like it should be super strong, but uh, it's just not. Uh, we do actually have a second match going on at the moment, so if this ends swiftly, then you will still be able to get all of the dueling action that you need. Um, I apologize again if I say any of there these names go. wrong. Um, we have Iro Sorokanas. 
Is that correct? Sorokunas. Yes. Yeah, Eero Sorokunas, yeah. Yes, and he's the Finnish champion? Yeah, Finnish national champion. Yes, so in Finland, although he's actually written Winland on his uh, on his tech list here, uh, versus Nikola Bulatovic, and it is True Draco versus Zodiac on our second table. Ah, it's True Draco Demise, I believe, that. looking. Uh, I only got a glimpse yeah, that the monster list was super short. It is super short. Yes, you yeah. are correct. It is True Draco Demise. Okay, so True King of Calamities is going to cause a huge number of problems for Barfa to start off with. And um, Michael's not even done. Going to make that an Earth Monster, straight into Notoria Beast. There you go. No spell cards for you. Um, so yeah, but, but both of these guys won their first rounds, by the way. We're not featuring, like... Oh, yeah. Any, any, anyone else? No, oh, free. O3 drop candidate. O3, O3 drop. No. Round two. In round two, Matt. That's that would be pretty. You'd be. You've got to be playing pretty bad. <laughs> O3 drop. And ultimate uh, conductor trying to also coming down. Um, huge monsters. How yeah. Barfa. Absolutely huge. I actually think just scoop now. I, I yeah. wouldn't even play. Just so I mean, your opponent doesn't the hand know what you got. Now he's got. got um, on the other side. He's playing he a ritu ritual deck and he's got an Atreia beast. Surely. Well, he can tribute. True. He's got a kaiju, so he can, he can play. Okay. Uh, Barha has Aratama is drawn. He's got the ritual spell. He's got a kaiju. He's got a blue eyes white dragon because why not? Um, it's the original print as well. So he, he's got the material to actually make the summon free, but the problem is he won't be able to activate any of the effects because of the true king of calamities. Um, granted, saying that, the Shino, oh, Shino Baron. Yeah, he's going to scoop. He has the wrong one. It's just like he's not going to get for that field. That's one of the big problems playing against the dinosaur deck is the opening fields are so unbelievably powerful. Oh, yes. But what the flip side to that is, is that the dinosaur deck is not necessarily good at playing into an established field. Yeah. And that's something that we saw quite a few times, uh, even on really good hands against uh, regular zoo. Uh, we were seeing uh, the dinosaur deck really struggling when it was opening Diagram Baby Saurus or Soul, e or Soul Eating Over Raptor Diagram, and it, that's like some of the best two card hands it can start with and still struggles. Yeah, I think its top end is great, it's got some of the best openers of the decks, but it's terribly inconsistent. I don't know if terribly inconsistent is, is right. I mean, I think it just I really right with Zodiac. Oh, yeah, in, in comparison to Zodiac, I'll give you the Zodiac is a lot more consistent because there's just so many cards you can open to do well. I think that the biggest problem with the dinosaurs is it just um, it's not very well at playing because it's so combo reliant without having safe spots to stop. Playing into your opponent's field is just so much harder. But going game uh, winning the die roll in game one means you're guaranteed to go first games one and three. What about yeah. uh, the fact that it's true Draco dinosaurs with Yang Zing? Well, I, it depends on how the Yang Zing actually. Uh, he's playing lots of main deck Yang Zing monsters as well, isn't he? he so is, yes. Um, there's there's different options in there available, but we'll. I have to see how it plays out. I, my experience with dinosaurs in general is they don't like going second. Luke, what do you think Bath is going to be siding? Let's have a look. So, um, so the Ghost Rogue and Snow Barrett is going to be great for game three if we get there. Um, but none of this stuff looks like it's turn one stuff. He's not. He's no. not playing any crazy trap cards or anything like that. You know, or Quaking Mirror Frost is yeah, obviously a crazy, a crazy trap card, but it's still not a turn one crazy trap card. You generally want. Um, I think that's Chalice is the only one that I can think of. Maybe Book of Moon. But everything else is reasonably kind of going secondy. So it's like Twin Twisters, Regeki. Going secondy. Yeah. Going secondy. You second can have D. that one. Yeah, you can have <laughs> one. Um, Sec second C's after 11s. Oh, no, that is that is Macrocosmos. I just it I is. couldn't read it. it was, it's like he kind of half wrote the letters and then just stopped. It does look like more Cosmos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when did we print that one? It was, it was very... <laughs> yeah. Um, I was like, there's a card? I don't know. Michael at a big disadvantage here because he only got to see the extra deck uh, for Barfa and is knows he's against something suspicious. I mean, some of the players are sort of wised up to it on the YCS circuit. That if they get featured early, their opponent is playing something unconventional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you're playing something normal, then the chances are your opponent's playing something weird. That's yeah. Because yeah. we, we try to feature a lot of uh, the outlier decks are more, um, I'm not going to say more interesting because that's unfair, but to try and feature some of the stuff that won't probably make it to day two. But we want it to. But it's it's not like we're even doing that. We're just featuring the national champion of Hungary here. Yep. Now in this particular case, yes. And they yeah. both also won their first round. Yeah. 
Yeah, so so all, so far they're quids in. And it's not like it's a YCS where, although I'm not saying that the level of play at YCS is any lower than what it is here, we've all of these players qualified to be here, so they've had to have you know come quite high in the regional, or they've had to you know win the national championships to be able to fly over here and everything like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, you definitely come up against some uh, strong competition as opposed to the YCS circuit, which is open to all brackets. Then again, you get someone like Joshua Smith exactly get across you in round one, and you're like, yeah, YCS is a fair. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how Michael would have side decked for this because he has no information. Think, yeah. and he's, well, the information he did see would be massively confusing. <laughs> I think you just... just just put a bunch of stuff in, like yeah. hand traps. Do you make any changes at all? Yeah, I think I, the Ghost Ogre. Well, the, yeah, Ghost, if you're going Ogre, second, Ghost Ogre is fine. Yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong with Ghost Ogre. Maybe even Forbidden Chalice if you assume that your opponent's playing some kind of zoo engine in there as well. I think that's pretty. S that's safe to assume, just not in this match. Yeah, that would be an incorrect assumption. But the Forbidden Chalice is still pretty good against the Shinobird's uh, ritual effect. You can just go ahead and get them, stop them sweeping your entire board away. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen anybody actually playing Upstart Goblin. Yeah. We kind um, of just dropped out of play. It's because draw drawing lot bird became more prevalent. If you draw yeah, a lot bird, someone's up star goblin, they get real sad. Yeah, it's like, oh, I just blanked my turn for Interestingly, a Michael's playing draw and lock bird in the main. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So if yeah. We might see it. Okay, the opening hands loading in. We're gonna probably see Barfa going first. Uh which he's actually not. Uh Michael he's elected to let Michael go. No, uh, he has not. Has nope. he not? Has he? Yeah, no, Michael. He, he let Michael go first. He let Michael go first because it's um, his, it makes sense because his ritual monsters all ha require his opponent to have cards on the field to actually mm. be able to use them fully. Yeah. Um, but that actually puts him in a bit of a weird position if uh, Michael sided in cards, assuming he was going second. Yeah. Yeah. But then Ghost Ogre is still pretty strong. Yeah. And we're going to see the uh, diagram. He did have the diagram soul eating overwrap to start, but that getting shut down by an early Ghost Ogre. Miscellaneousaurus, I like that. Miscellaneousaurus is one of my favorite cards. It just sounds it's funny. It's very strong as well. Yeah. I remember when we were working on that one in development, and um, I was rating through the cards, and uh, the note I wrote for this, this will be good as long as we're printing dinosaur monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just a note that I left on, on, on the card. That, and he's made of, like, different dinosaur parts. You know, miscellaneous parts, he's called. So he's called Miscellaneous. But mi mi miscellaneousaurus. <laughs> and we see I appreciate puns. <laughs> Puns of damage, is it? Puns of damage. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see nine pillars uh, also being added to Michael's hand, so that's going to be powerful negation, assuming he can keep a uh, Yang Zing on the field. At the but he's got Deng Wong right there. Uh, he's, got a, he's got a Kaiju, though. He can Kaiju and then do things so that you can't play nine pillars. Yeah, he's... I can see him. There we go. Yeah, take this. Yeah, Michael's hand actually pretty jammed. He's holding just... Uh, not useful stuff, really. It's, most, it's just uh, some Yang Zing monsters and baby Sarasaurus. And when his monster leaves the field, he gets himself a Yang Zing monster. Yes. Uh, Barfa has Artama, which can give him the ability to search for another ritual monster, but that's kind of... His hand is just so lackluster. Okay, yeah, in charge of Kaiju Slumber. slumber. Nine pillars, because he pillars. controls the Yang Zing. And it gets shuffled back into the deck, so he can't use the graveyard effect later. Yeah, that's pretty relevant, actually. Uh, yeah, and he destroys his... Uh, destroys his own monster there? He destroys his own monster. I forget which one the Earth it one was is. was Bian. Bian. Yeah. Uh, which will let him get a number of Yang Zing. Uh, not sure whether it's missing oh. timing. Oh, yeah. That's a fair point. Our time we're going to get the search. Um, that's really rough because Barfus, whatever he searches for, he's pretty much going to end his turn and just leave it a complete blank field. I don't Almost, think there's, yes. there's anything he can search for that's... Uh, okay, he can go for a Nikotama and set up for next turn. So what he's just going to do is just hope that the dinosaur player doesn't obliterate him. Mm -hmm. And but after dropping a huge kaiju onto the, his opponent's yeah. side of the field, yeah, he's just with made an empty field, it's very possible that Bartha is in a really bad position. It's like a third of his life points. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's not looking too good. Turns my hand. 
Don't worry, nothing suspicious going on here. Uh, Michael drawing for his turn. We'll see when that uh, signs in. Soul eating over Raptor. Yep, there it is. And he's got baby Sarasaurus in his hand, so uh, he's going to clean the house here. And that will be a very fast round, too. Very. Luckily, as I said, we do have that second match going on at the moment, which will still more than likely be in game one. Yeah. We're not going to be able to move them over while they're still playing the round one. No, but we could get an interview with Michael. This is if true. Michael does win at this point, which he's definitely looking like he is. Uh, that is the uh, I'd be UK shocked. If the only way Michael like loses is if he chooses not to win, I think, at this point. Yeah. But, you know, crazier things have happened. Yeah, <laughs> they certainly have. It does look like he's about to win. Is there anything in... And that's it. And there we go. Yeah, what's the handshake? Wow, yeah, okay. Three free there. Massive, that was a quick game. Massively quick game, just completely taking out. That was the problem. Like, the Shino Birds is just, I think, a little bit too creative for this format. Um, it wasn't going to be able to play into an established field very well. Uh, well, not mm -hmm. the dinosaur setup with the true King of Calamities. I can see it doing well against Zodiac. Um, when it sets up like lots of back rows and then you can go ahead and go Baroness. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk a little bit more about that in our post-match discussion. Yeah.